know, as far as temperatures go, this was about as high as I saw them all day. 85 degrees Celsius and the fans spinning at 61%. For all the complaints of pre-production samples being mini space heaters, the actual retail products aren't all that bad. All right, so here's something I discovered a few seconds ago for people who actually purchased the card, is for your own safety, I would not suggest grabbing this card after it has been on for a while. Um, it will burn you, I, as I uh, discovered. Just a word of friendly advice. All right, so let's wrap it up. Now, obviously this isn't a complete review or even a series benchmarking session. The cards were run through some games, 3D Mark, etc., and without a doubt, the GTX 480 does perform better than the 5870. However, it also carries a higher price tag. One thing I do want to mention though, is there's been sort of a lot of bickering around the web about the heat and temperatures that this thing produces. Well, to be honest, it seems like a non-issue for these upgraded retail cards. The temperatures of 85 degrees Celsius really aren't all that out of the ordinary. Both ATI and NVIDIA's previous generation cards push that, and the current 5970 does as well. At the end of the day, I think the noise and heat complaints are complete non-issues and ultimately pay more, but you get more. Feel free to disagree, that's just how I see it.